Okay, so we're just going to quickly introduce all the speakers, just in case you've forgotten who they are, of course. <laughs> Obviously not. There's quite a lot of characters here. On the end, we have Peter Knight. He did the talk about the West Kent at Long Barrow yesterday morning. Next to Peter is Lucy Wyatt, the author of Approaching Chaos. And we have Alan Butler, who did uh, the talk about the ancient metrology and Thornborough Henge. Semir Samos Manikic, Bosnian pyramid discoverer. Mr. Temple, of course. And Howard Crowhurst, uh, the Brittany expert. And on the end here, John Major Jenkins, uh, the 2012 Mayan scholar. And of course, we have John Martineau, who's going to be hosting the forum. And I'm going to be the microphone monkey running around. So over to you, John. Great. Okay, Floor. You're sure you've got lots of questions for these uh, erudite souls. Um, for who's got a question? Any subject? First takers? Actually, before that, let's get, uh, yeah. Howard has something to say. Howard has something to say. Oh, have I? Yeah. <laughs> He's not coming up. He, he wants I'd just to like to I'd just like to correct something that Robert said in his speech, which wasn't quite true. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, Robert was talking about Masura in... Um, uh, Morocco, and he said that there were 168 stones, but there used to be 170 or something. Well, that's speculation. But that was speculation. I was just pointing out that 168 is a very important number because it's the number of hours in a week. Uh, it's 24 times 7, and it's a number we find very often in Karnak in the measurements and also in Egypt. So, uh, probably there were only 168 from the word go. So they're probably, they're probably all still there. So there's only 168 Bosnians in the world. <laughs> in your world. <laughs> and they all throb at 28,000 times a second. Good. So, so, uh, the, the lights are on. First question. Anyone got a question for anyone in the, it, on, on the speakers? Right, that's it. We'll go on. Uh, Yeah, can, I, can I just say that um, I've really enjoyed this conference, first time I've been, and first time at Glastonbury, so thank you very much for everyone's what, what they put on here. I just wondered about uh, pyramids on other planets, perhaps, Martian Genesis, uh, things taken, uh, photographs taken from um, Mars and different planets, and uh, structures seeming to conform to sacred geometry, uh, if anyone has any understanding or any more information regarding that. Right, the, the, uh, the face on Mars, who wants to go? The pyramids on Mars. <laughs> Who's from Mars here? <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> oh, oh, is it women are from Mars or Venus? Or? <laughs> you, uh, oh, that's why you like girls so much, because you're so interested in what Venus is doing at five or... I, I, I go to Mars every night. I visit in, yeah, in Venus. Eight, eight yeah. times yeah. a night? Eight and... times a night. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> right. Kermit's on Mars. I, th I think we've been stumped by the first We might have been stumped. Would you, would, 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 you like to, um, would you like to offer us um, some of your thoughts on, on the subject you've been thinking about? It? John. Uh, I've got a quick update there. Yep. Wayne uh, Herschel. Wayne Herschel from Cape Town. Um, hidden records. The hidden records. Um, he's published some very good pictures in his book, mm -hmm. um, which are of NASA. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though NASA don't uh, make a big deal about it, because they obviously know they're looking at something that is not natural, um, the the pictures from NASA are very revealing. Right. So if you go to Wayne's site, The Hidden Records, you can get that date on that. Um, sorry, I sort of made light of the earlier question. Uh, I will say something about Mars, um, because I think it was John, I can't see, but I think it was John Agnew who just said that. I think I recognized your voice. Um, I do know something I can say about <laughs> Mars. Um, I was a friend of Arthur C. Clarke, the science fiction writer, and he was very um, friendly with the people at NASA, and they gave him photos, which he showed me, showing trees growing on Mars, which were taken from a very low orbiting satellite, and um, these were um, not, um, uh, well, these not angiosperm type trees, they were gymnosperms, that means conifer 
type trees, and they were growing in um, clumps of like little copses. And um, there's no doubt, I saw several of these pictures, and that there are bushes and uh, conifer type of trees, not many of them, but just occasional clumps of them growing on the surf of, surface of Mars, and that NASA have known this for many years and have not um, let the public know about it. So um, it's not just a matter of bacteria on Mars and, and ice in water on Mars. And, and they do know that there's vast quantities of water beneath the surface. And so we can be absolutely sure there is still some life on Mars. Therefore, um, we made a bit of a joke about it, but we can't say for certain that there aren't uh, structures on Mars from in earlier intelligent life forms before Mars became essentially uninhabitable. It's just that nobody knows. There are these photos that different people interpret that way, and maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But uh, if anybody knew, they wouldn't tell us because if NASA's not going to tell us there are trees there, they're certainly not going to admit that there are pyramids or anything else there. Uh, we, I know that there are trees on Mars because I've seen the pictures, and Arthur who I knew for many years, I trusted him completely that these were uh, the real thing and that his friends at NASA said, look at this, Arthur, here are some pictures of some trees on Mars. We've got this low-level um, satellite going around Mars, which may, for all we know, be one of the satellites that was claimed to have been lost contact with, you know, that maybe wasn't, that was really taking these pictures close up of the surface. But there are trees on Mars, and so that means if there are trees and we're not being told, there could be anything on Mars. And we certainly wouldn't be told. I've seen the photos. Have you? Yeah. Who's that? Carrie, I just interviewed you. Oh, Carrie, yeah. I, 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 we can't see, by the way, anybody. No, I've, I've seen the photographs. They look just like trees. No, I didn't, I didn't want to steal the show here. I just, I just want to verify that you are talking correctly. The photos do exist. I've seen them. And actually, I can't reveal the book. They're going to go public. And they're actually on the net if you look far enough. Um, and, and so Arthur C. Clarke is absolutely a great uh, person to, to get a referral from. He would tell you the truth. Well, that's fascinating, Carrie. Can you give us a web address to see the pictures? Uh, they're not on my website, but we have testimony from whistleblowers all about Mars, so, you know, I do encourage you to go to my website. You go beyond <laughs> trees, Carrie. ProjectCamelot.org. The, the photographs... Stand uh, up! The photographs, I believe they're on the web. I have to search for them. If I can find them, I'll be happy to send them to you. Your whistleblowers about Mars, do they talk about anything more exotic than trees? There is water under the surface. There are also... Um, what appear to be high-speed tunnel system uh, close to the surface of Mars. Gordon Abell and, and other people have seen the photographs. Um, uh, I, I'll tell you this. this is, is this publicized? I mean, is this, are we on uh, the recording? OK, I, I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought if it was just a closed room, then, then it could be a rumor. But if I'm Turn the camera off. Turn the camera off. <laughs> I'm sure, we can close for, uh, I'm sure we can close for 10 seconds. I'll take in the bar. Sorry, anyone watching. <laughs> well, thanks for confirming that, Kerry. That's very brave of you. Hi, uh, yeah, I think, for me personally, that there's a more pressing issue closer to home rather than is there life on Mars. Is there life in the House of Lords? <laughs> Great. Well, uh, that was fascinating. There certainly used to be vast, vast amounts of water on Mars because all of the all of the canyons and everything are all formed by water. It used to have a much larger atmosphere than it's had now. It lost its atmosphere um, due to the fact that it's quite small. There wasn't enough gravity to keep keep the atmosphere there. So uh, and the, there are theories that life might have evolved on Mars first and then ended up here. And they do find large amounts of um, or specks of, of Martian rock at the um, on the on the ice at the poles. Um, Next question, that was fascinating. He's got another, another good one. Yeah, this is for Samir. Um, there was a, um, a phrase that you used during your presentation.